strong gravy, you guys. Strong gravy. And give it up for me and my wife. We just celebrated 20 years of marriage, you guys. Thank you. We actually been married for 22 years. Two of those years, we don't celebrate. Two of those years were messed up. I'm embarrassed to say there was some verbal, physical, and mental abuse in two of those years. And my wife still has charges pending. My wife hates it when I take food off her plate. She said, you could at least ask. I said, I did ask. Remember, baby? You said, I do. <laughs> she said, stay out of my purse. That's not your purse. That's our purse. She said, where's my credit card? That's our credit card. She said, you're an ass. I said, no, we're an ass. <laughs> we are one. We are one. And things sure have changed since we first started dating. When we first got married, we used to make love every day on my lunch break. <laughs> I'll call her on my lunch break and start singing over the phone. Sky rockets in flight. <laughs> she would sing the second verse. Afternoon delight. Go home, make love. It was beautiful. We called it a nooner. 22 years later, I tried that. I'll call her on my lunch break. Sky rockets in flight. Click. <laughs> she just straight hangs up on me. Same thing. Hey, now if I want to hear the rest of that verse, I got to sing it myself. And if I want to have a nooner. <laughs> I got to do that myself, too. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Is now when we make love, we got to have the TV on. Sometimes it's so the kids in the other room can't hear us, but sometimes it's so she's got something to do. And it can't be, it can't be nothing I enjoy watching either, like no forensic files, no murder mysteries. I have ADHD, my attention span is short. We'll be right in the middle of doing our thing, I hear on the TV, then they got the murder weapon in the doctor's office. I'd be like, what? The game is over. When I was in my 20s, going raw dog meant having sex with no condom. At 55, going raw dog means having sex with no Viagra. I was getting unsolicited emails from Viagra. Turns out they weren't unsolicited. My wife's got working in them. It's a good thing, too. And she tried to talk crap about my love making. My wife tried to talk crap about my love making after 22 years. I had to remind my wife, my love making comes with a three bedroom, two bathroom house with central heat and air. <laughs> my love making comes with a car, some gas, and some spending money. Unlimited beer, food, and cigarettes. You know what that means? Shit, I got that good dick. <laughs> now, if any of you ladies, any of you ladies would like to find out what my dick comes with as my side girl, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. It don't come with nothing extra. It's just a dick. Hey, and can we please, can we please give it up for the ladies still selling pussy on White Avenue? They talking all about it on the internet how they still selling pussy on White Avenue, but they won't say exactly where. I'm like, White Avenue is hella long. I ain't got that kind of gas. Where is you at, pussy? Is you over on Watt and Keeper by the Juvenile Hall? Or is you over on Watt in North Highlands in front of the sports complex? I Googled that shit. Pussy on White Avenue. It came back to, did you mean? <laughs> Pussy on Alhambra? No, Pussy on Watt Avenue. Did you mean Pussy on 4th and T? I was like, damn, Google, 4th and T, how old do you think I am? That's my dad's old host struck. 4th and T. That's hell of a Oh, man. So, uh, what else is happening? <laughs> You guys having a good time? Yeah. yeah.
Yeah. This ain't too late for you guys, is it? Hey, listen, I'm gonna get out of here, but before I go, I want to I want to share one more thing with you guys. You guys remember that movie Grease? Yeah. I was a kid when that movie came out. Loved that movie. Saw it a hundred times. I was devastated when Olivia and John died. I came home. My son said, Dad, that movie you love, Grease? Olivia Newton John, she died. I said, What? Tell me more, tell me more. Did she put up a fight? <laughs> My wife said, That's not funny. She did put up a fight, as a matter of fact. Four years of breast cancer. You're an ass. No, we're an ass. <laughs> hey, you guys. My name is Daniel Luna. Thank you.